Hello all and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be filming for you guys today. I haven't filmed in a few days and the weather has been so nice. I wish you could see but I'm sitting in front of the windows and it's all blue and I just I just love it. It's springtime and I'm feeling good. So today I'm gonna to make a video on a brand called Denam and I've talked about them in some of my recent videos but I was looking on YouTube and no one's made any YouTube videos about this brand yet so I was like, I guess I better do it. This brand has the cutest packaging. They have their, this is their Vietnamese coffee fragrance and like, it is just so cute. If you don't know me, my name is Emma. I really like perfume. I worked as a sales associate for three years at a beauty counter. I love perfume. It's one of my favorite things to talk about. Without further ado, please subscribe and let's get into the video. This brand is a very recent brand. I think they just launched. I don't know when they came out. I think it was like late 2023 or maybe 2024. I'm gonna read you what it says about them on their website. Denam is a fine fragrance house from Vietnam. Rooted in the beauty of nature, our perfumes inspire calmness and delight, evoking a sense of understated elegance with a clear point of view. Okay. Um, Anam is the name of a French protectorate in Southeast Asia, which encompasses the central region of modern day Vietnam. Denam in French means from Anam. At the core of Denam is a commitment to artisanal craftsmanship that seamlessly weaves traditional and innovation. Every fragrance we create is meticulously handcrafted in small batches, drawing on age-old techniques and the finest natural ingredients sourced from around the globe. Working with passionate perfumers, we treat each bottle as a piece of art and an emotional narrative encapsulated in scent. Now, they actually do work with a Vietnamese perfumer. His name is An Ngo, and he is from IFF, which is a fragrance house that I am familiar with. He's a junior perfumer. I think he studied at Isipka, which is where I studied as well. The whole perfume industry is so whitewashed. All the famous perfumers are always French and white, but schools like Isipka are international and they have such a diverse group of people going through the same training and working for these perfume houses. So it's kind of crazy to see like all the jobs and all of the opportunities go to the same French people. So it's so amazing to see someone who's actually Vietnamese be chosen for a project like this. Also, side note, I think I like match or not match. I sent on you know, the perfumer uh, like a LinkedIn, will you connect with me? And he connected with me. And so I feel like we're friends. You've even though I've literally never met him. We're literally, <laughs> we're friends. I think it's so funny. The founder of Denam, his name is Nick. His name is Nick Huang. Um, and it looks like he is from Ho Chi Minh City. It looks like that's where he lives. I'm just looking on his LinkedIn. Vietnamese brand, here's what they stand for, calmness. They want their fragrance to bring tranquility. So their fragrances aren't loud and they're supposed to be speak from a clear point of view. So with these fragrances, you're gonna get something that's not like crazy overpowering, super strong, which is kind of, it makes sense with the imagery. I don't expect a perfume with this cover to be crazy bold and like oud, you know? This is this is gonna be something kind of neutral, but I will say, I I've worn them myself and they're, they don't like immediately go away or anything. They're not like not long lasting, but they are more in the understated kind of scent. Their other pillar is delight. They say that fragrance should be a joyful experience. I am in agreement with that and inclusivity. So I love that. Their packaging is all recyclable and they contribute to charities across the country, which I think is super great. I love a social impact. Their online website is US only. They sh only ship within the US, but they do have pop-ups in Vietnam. Um, I learned this. I was like stalking the Instagram comment section and they said that they sell in like select stores in Vietnam. So they're coming to Taipei in May and then in Vietnam they have stockists at Gia Perfumery in Hanoi and Century Concept in Ho Chi Minh City. So if you're from Vietnam and you want to try them out, you can go to those stores. Okay, so without further ado, let's get into it. I feel like I had something else to say, but I just completely forget. So that's a bunch of kind of random background crap about this brand that I found interesting. I have a full size of Vietnamese coffee, which is fragrance and then I also have their enchanting Vietnam discovery set now this has been out of stock like everything on their site has been out of stock for like a month and they just restocked a few days ago hopefully they're still in stock now and so when I upload this they'll like have stock but this is their discovery set it is the cutest thing I'm trying to like make sure that you can see this so they have this little thing here I have obviously already unboxed this and smelled everything but in here there's a little thing that says Denom and then you take it out it's an envelope and then in the envelope, there's this really cute little flip book with photos of all of the fragrances and every fragrance has like a little piece of art that corresponds to a little blurb about the fragrance. And I love it, I love art, I love a good visual. For me, I'm a very visual person, so having like a piece of art to look at, I can be like, I can't pronounce this, I'm so sorry, but Phuoc. This is a, yeah, the island of Phu Quoc, which is on the southern coast of Vietnam. This is like a little image, and I feel like this image really well represents the fragrance because it's a little aquatic, but also a little fresh. And you know, I can see that in here while I smell it, which I really like. Very fun to get a little playbook to play around with. And then you can take this off, and then in here you 
Oh my gosh. And then here you get all the fragrances. I took one out because I was traveling with it, but you can see all the fragrances here. They also come with mouillettes that have the names of the fragrances on them. So you can specifically spray the ones with the names, which I think is super cool. And I just love, there's so much thought that went into this discovery set and it's interactive, which I really like. I think I'm gonna save the Vietnamese coffee one for last because I can talk about like the full bottle and the packaging and what it comes like and stuff like that. I'm just gonna go in order of like what they're in. So the first one that we have is in the garden and this one is a very like kind of soapy clean I think it's like a jasmine scent oh so good immediately I get pedigree there's kind of the aspects of eau de cologne without the citrus it's lush I'm thinking of like a flower bush with a ton of flowers like spring green oh it's so lovely in my mind I associate flowers with like especially white flowers with soap I don't know if I used to like have soapy like floral soapy notes growing up or something like that to kind of cause this association in my mind but that's what I think of if this were to be a pear it would be crisp like more crisp than sweet the notes are a little similar to Gucci Bloom there's Jasmine there's Rangu Creeper and I think that a lot of these notes they do have in Gucci Bloom but this one as compared to Gucci Bloom this one has more interest Gucci Bloom is kind of flat in my opinion where this is this is like the texture to it it has the pedigree, green, a pear in the opening. I don't smell the coconut or the amber or the sandalwood, but I know that coconut sometimes when paired with floral notes, like there's definitely lactones in here. This is so good. This is so good. It's very clean. I love it. And to me, it's, it's like nostalgic. Like it's, I'm gonna put it on my inner elbow. I'm saving my wrists for my favorite. Hmm. Um, in the Garden is a tribute to the Vietnamese garden inspired by fond memories of our founder's visits to his grandmother in the countryside. Those were the childhood days spent playing in the garden, surrounded by scents of lime trees, vibrant jasmine, and native flora. In the Garden is a deeply personal homage that connects us to our grandmother's love. So funny because it actually does remind me of my grandma. I feel like the reason that I think that this smells like soap is because my grandma used to have a soap like this. On me, it really smells like greenery. On my arm, it's going a little sour. I don't know why, but on card, it's really beautiful. Yeah. In the Garden, Slade. All right, next one is a deeply, deeply exciting one that was very personal for me. The first time I smelled this, I had like this visceral emotion that unlocked in my mind. Okay, I seem to have lost the sample like sprayer for this, so I'm gonna use one of my own. This one is Monsoon Tea. Let me find the page. So this is what Monsoon Tea looks like. It's a very green scent. It looks like leaves, but tropical and almost humid as well. Oh, I love this. Monsoon tea captures the tranquil moment of savoring green tea after a rainstorm. Brewing Vietnamese green tea is a unique process which begins with selecting young tea leaves followed by swift oil to create a drink that is light, bright, and refreshing. As the rain subsides, every spray of monsoon tea is a sip of optimism, clarity, and renewal. Oh, this is so good. It has a really fresh opening with bergamot. I smell some lime. It says that there's pedigree as well. I don't smell it as much. I definitely smell the heart note of green tea. Green tea has this kind of green but powdery note and it's often combined with citrus which I really like that combination it works so well there's just like a really like oh just and this smells different from the first time I smelled it it's fresh it's like citrusy it smells like tea I put this on my wrist as well I really get a lemony opening like it's very ooh you know, very bright and lemony and citrusy but there's this really beautiful background oh it is so good. It's beautiful. It's citrusy. If you like green scents, this is really beautiful. And if you like citrus, it's so good. Yeah, this is very like, oh, you know, things are getting better. Spring is coming. It smells fresh, but it could be warm at the same time. Like, you know how this looks like hot and humid and there's a bit of rain as well on the leaves? It's just so good. If you like bamboo harmony, anything like that, this is right up your alley. This is the kind of thing I would wear going to the gym. I'd wear this out and about. It just smells really good. Next up, we have harvest season. This yellow color is really what the perfume smells like to me. Oh, oh. Top note, or grapefruit. You immediately get grapefruit, but mixed with orange, so it's a little sweeter, and then also mixed with pink pepper. So it's like the sweetness is kind of drawing me in, but the pink pepper is kind of like, oh, oh, oh. There is rice straw, which is a really interesting note. I don't know what it smells like, but to me, this has a dryness in the middle, and I'm guessing that would be the, the straw, as well as rose and violet. I get the violet, and then vetiver and patchouli at the base. Definitely get the patchouli. I'm not the biggest fan of this one. I wish I had a more fun, positive outlook on this one but I can't like everything and this one I don't like as much kind of smells like lush a little bit like a lush store but it's like higher quality a little bit like 
Not that Lush isn't high quality, but like this has more nuance, I guess. Like I can pick everything out. I can pick out the rice straw and I can pick out the grapefruit and the vetiver and the violet. Whereas in Lush, I'm just like, oh, it smells like Lush, you know? This has got that interest to it. I could see it smelling like a morning. I think it's, you know, like a farmer is waking up and going to go harvest. It's funny, my family are farmers. I grew up on farms as well, so, so I do have also like a little bit of a soft spot for like waking up and having to get the tractor started or something like that. Yeah, this is really pretty. I don't know if I'd wear it, but I I like it for the atmospheric and the storytelling, I guess. It smells like a spa to me, like very, very spa-like. Okay, next up we have Pukwok. Fogwok. 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 The next one that we're gonna smell is Fogwok. My pronunciation is horrible. I watched a video on how to pronounce it, but I know that I'm not doing it well. So my apologies, but this one is called Pho Quoc, which is an island in Vietnam, <laughs> in Vietnam on the water. So this is a very like oceanic, marine kind of fragrance. And look at the photo of this. Beautiful. You get green peppercorn, citrus, galbanum, oceanic notes, muguay, orange flower, cedarwood, amber, and vetiver. I'm gonna put this one right on me because I remember liking it. I'm gonna put it on like the back of my arm. I'm gonna have to show some flexibility. Okay, immediately my thoughts are this is unisex. It's right down the middle. There's a masculine, like fresh oceanic. I'm just listing off to you all my immediate scent associations. Don't get too attached to them because they're just kind of like immediate scent associations. The first thing I thought of is like a men's blue shower gel. You know, those like blue colored things for men that always smell the same, like a shower gel or like a men's deodorant and it's the color blue or a men's perfume and it's the color blue and they all have this like kind of fresh smell. This has that fresh smell. Yeah, it's very bright. I get citrus, I get galbanum, I get a good amount of vetiver. Who is calling? No caller ID. Hello? Yes! Yeah. Okay, funny story. That was my therapist. Turns out I was supposed to be in therapy literally right now, but it's okay. I have like it was a virtual meeting, so I just like did therapy and now we're back. That was such an unexpected break. So it's been about an hour. Oh, did we even smell Fuquak? Yeah, we did. I think I have it on here. Herbaceous, it could be like, it could be a cocktail. It's not sweet, it's more tart, herbal. And I get an orange, but it's in this like green citrus peel orange smell. It's not my favorite, it's just, mm, 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 you know, that kind of. Okay, next up we have Dalat, which is a town. Dalat pays homage to the charming city of Dalat, a haven of romance and serenity in central Vietnam. Nestled amidst lush pine forests, Dalat boasts year-round idyllic weather, drawing visitors seeking inner peace. At its core, Dalat Eau de Parfum is an innovative rose scent that unfolds like a love letter where every spray carries the promise of romance and surprise. So good. So it's juniper berry, red wine, rose, magnolia, peony, cedarwood, cypriol, and musk. This was one of my favorite perfumes when I smelled this for the first time. I wasn't expecting much of this perfume kind of seemed like an unassuming floral scent and there wasn't too much going on with this painting here so i didn't have much expectations but this is beautiful this is to die for i definitely get a red wine accord it's seductive it's sweet but it has like an earthiness i love the idea where it's like red roses and floral but there's also wine but it's also a forest that you go to for peace and calm oh my god this is probably my favorite it definitely gives delina vibes if you like delina in the sense that it's a rose scent with so much more than rose happening i get fruitiness it's juicy i don't really get pine i don't really get cedar either it's not dry definitely only juniper berry because there's this alcoholic smell to it and to me juniper berry smells like gin not expected and it's romantic so big fan of that next up we have one of the most exciting ones which is pho breakfast this scent is inspired by pho the noodle soup it has a lot of herbal notes so there is star anise charred ginger fresh basil cilantro cardamom grapefruit patchouli and cedarwood we all know pho hopefully this is one of my favorite foods and i was very interested to see that they had a scent inspired by pho i mean i guess if you're gonna do vietnamese inspired food this is probably one of the most famous vietnamese foods of course you do a pho scent um, and i was very excited for this i didn't know what to expect because it's very savory and generally savory umami type of notes aren't represented in perfumery but this smells so much like pho it's so interesting it's not warm the patchouli bothers me in this a little bit but yeah it smells like i smell the fresh watery bean sprouts it smells like like fresh bean sprouts even though they don't have much of a smell and i smell the mixture between the the hoisin and the sriracha like spicy 
and the basil. Very interesting. I wouldn't wear this, but it's fun to smell and definitely, definitely really fun to sample. It's not something I would buy. Yeah, you have to really, really like patchouli and like fresh, spicy kind of scents. Next up, we have white rice, which is one of my favorites from the bunch. This fragrance has a really beautiful iris opening with some tonka bean. It's very, very soft. If you smell this perfume, I would recommend smelling the scent first out of the whole collection because it is the most gentle. It is very soft. If you smell this besides something else and you come back to this after something strong, you won't be able to pick it up very easily. Beautiful tonka bean in the background, adding that warmth. Feels like a blanket, like to my nose. It's got this beautiful texture that I love. Second skin like, a little creamy, soft. It's so pretty. If you like second skin scents, if you like iris, but even me, I'm not a huge fan of iris. It's not my number one like favorite note. It has a beautiful, beautiful effect in this, which I love. But this is a very close to the skin, intimately projecting perfume. If you want something that'll fill a room and last forever, that is not what you're gonna get with this perfume. This is extremely understated and gentle and a little savory, which I really like too. There's that savoriness to the rice, which is just, just exquisite. And the photo, I mean, we've all seen rice before. This is Through the Forest, which is one of the heavier ones from the fragrances. This is warm, it is sweet. This is what it looks like. This is a really nice atmospheric oud. It's warm, it's deep, it's thick, but not too thick. It's not crazy fill room, but it's definitely probably the most, well, full breakfast is pretty strong, but this is the most dense, I would say, because oud is a lot more bodied than a fresh spicy note, which is just kind of like on the top. This is very full. Thick fog, thick woods, a storm. It does have a bit of a sourness in the oud. I don't love it. I'm not a big oud person, so as expected, this was not my favorite of the bunch. And that's okay, but there's still aspects to it that I do like. I just don't like the sour animalic note to the oud. This isn't extremely animalic, it's just like just a hint, but that's enough for me, like to just tap out. I'm not really very good with animalic notes. I wish I was better, but alas. I'm back. My camera died. So much is happening. It's taken me like three hours to film this video, but we move along. Now we are getting to the part of the video where I talk about the full size of the Vietnamese coffee fragrance right here. Just stunning, very beautiful. It's this fragrance and packaging, beautiful as always, comes with a little envelope with a card on the fragrance. You can see that here. And then it has the beautiful photo. This is such a good photo. This is something that would be on my Pinterest board in 2014. Here we have the bottle, it's super cute. Vietnamese coffee, it has like a little bit of a brown coloring to it. We're gonna put the scent on. This is a really well done coffee scent. It smells so much like a real coffee. Like it smells like a cold brew and it's not too bitter, but it still is bitter like coffee beans. It smells like coffee beans. It is actually pretty bitter and there's kind of a, a nutty smell to it. I don't know if there's some sandalwood in the base. Yeah, cedar wood and amber. I don't smell any condensed milk. It's not very lactonic to me. I wish this was a little sweeter than it is to me. It's, I find it's just very sour and I wish it wasn't as sour and like woody. And I drink black coffee. Like I don't put any milk or cream or sugar in my coffee unless it's the middle of the day. If it's the middle of the day, get me some sugar, get me some cream. All to say is this one's okay. I had higher expectations for it than it actually ended up being. But I would say that if I were to get a full size today, having smelled everything, I would definitely purchase white rice or Dilat. Those were my favorite ones. This one's really interesting, but I definitely fell for the photos and was very intrigued by the whole like concept of coffee, which I love coffee, but unfortunately this just wasn't the coffee perfume of my dreams. I don't know, maybe I think I was looking for something a little more gourmand. This is a very strong roasted coffee bean scent, which to my knowledge is what Vietnamese coffee should taste like. So very strong, freshly brewed coffee is the smell, and if you're into that, go for it. But it's definitely not a gourmand in the traditional sense. It's just kind of strong coffee beans smell. This is raw footage of me eating my words because the second I stopped filming this, the second I turned my camera off and stepped away from my computer, I go into the kitchen, I'm like heating up my soup, living my life. And every time I pass my arm and like do motions with my arm, I smell this beautiful smell. And I'm like, what is it that's on my arm? Vietnamese iced coffee. The perfume that I just literally just filmed a video saying, mm, I don't know if it's for me, I don't know if I love it. Meanwhile, the second I turn the video off, I'm like, I have 
smelled it twice, I've worn it multiple times, and I didn't think it was really anything to write home about. And honestly, that was mostly because the opening is so bitter, but the dry down is, is quite nice. It's again, still not the sweetest scent, but it does warm up on my skin. I do get more of that sweet note, more lactonic, still like savory. And going back to what they say at the beginning of the video, where their fragrances are meant to be artistic and understated and not necessarily super, super loud and projecting. They want something that's kind of like just soft and gentle and nice. Like this is more, in that soft realm where the coffee note at the beginning is very volatile, very much fills a room and then it kind of settles in it, like closer to your skin, which is so pretty. So it's a really subtle one, but it's, it's just like nice, you know? Don't expect uh, something super, super strong. If you like kind of like a close to the skin, toasty, savory scent a little bit, it's kind of like that. And it's very, very, very nice. So I want to apologize to Nick Huang and Ango, Ango, cause it's very, very good. And I'm sorry, I didn't love it at first because I do actually really like it. And that's all I have to say. All right, now that is all for today. If you have any questions, please comment below. Recommendations for future videos. I am always open to hearing more. Please follow me on Instagram. My username is Perfumerism, same thing as on here. I'm thinking for my next video, I'm gonna do rating your signature scents or some tier ranking. Like tell me your least favorite perfume or your favorite perfume. And I think I might do like a tier ranking. I don't know. I have lots of thoughts and we will coordinate something in the future. Um, so please follow me and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Feel free to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, if you're feeling crazy. But yeah, thank you all for watching. I really do appreciate every single one of you who watches my videos and like interacts with my stuff. It's just crazy that people like want to hear what I have to say about perfume. So thank you so much for being here and I hope you stay tuned for future videos. And if you don't, it was really nice to have you for this afternoon or whatever time of day you're watching this. And cheers. Uh, I hope you have a good day. Bye guys.